Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Divine Masculines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you beautiful souls. I will you all a blissed on this beautiful Saturn's day. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I have to do your reading. I did the Divine Feminines reading. Now it's time for the Divine Masculines to get their reading in. I will you all are blissed. I will everything is everything on your side of the planet. Everything is everything on mine. Um, this is going to be more than likely a deep dive. <laughs> I told the Divine Feminines it was just going to be a quick one and it turned out to be a deep dive. So uh, we're just going to follow the flow of the energy. We're going to see where it takes us, what's going to happen. We're going to see what's coming and going out, going on with you all. I hope you all are bliss, man. I missed you all. I love you all. I thank you all for tuning and tapping into the platform. If some of you are new, welcome. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Uh, my name is Q. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am also an empath and I am also clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings. And the way that that works is the music, whether the lyrics in the song, name of the song, name of the artist, sometimes the timestamp of the song, it will correlate and resonate with what's coming out with the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. Uh, and it just all blends very beautifully. Um, so that is a very unique way in which I read um, here on this side of the thing, on this side of the planet. That's how I channel the messages, how I read. Um, my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be a story. Um, just leave it there. Don't try to pick it up, okay? Also, my readings are timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that that has taken place. Um, for any of you that may be new in my former readings, uh, I had mentioned that I will start incorporating sound baths to the reading. So uh, I will be utilizing some of my own instruments, whether it be a singing um, bowl or a tongue drum, a chime, uh, maybe my kalimba, maybe a flute, uh, maybe my shaman's drum, maybe my djembe drum. Uh, but I will be utilizing those instruments just to raise the vibration, the frequency, uh, so that you all can have a very clear message come through for you all. Today I will be using my tongue drum uh, to go ahead and um, facilitate this, this beautiful message, this beautiful download. So... Let's go ahead, before we go any further, uh, I want to go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we will proceed with utilizing the tongue drum and then we will go ahead and start the reading Ashe. So let's go ahead and do some deep, uh, some house cleaning as I said, I'm getting all tongue twisted. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, and the vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe. 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 So as I said, we're going to go ahead and start this reading off with my tongue drum. Give me one moment. I forgot something. Give me one moment. Thank you for that. Sorry about that. I had to go and make sure I had something out of the oven before it burns. <laughs> so let's go ahead before we even touch the tongue drum. Let's go ahead and get some inhales and exhales out of the way. You may do this if you so wish to do so. I like to get my energy channeled four 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 on the clock. So we will be having a very beautiful download today. I feel angels, ancestors are present. So let's go ahead, inhale very deeply, then exhale 
Once we finish with the tongue drum, I will turn the music on and begin the reading. Ashe. So let's go ahead, Divine Masculines. Go ahead and do a nice deep inhale. Let's get it exhaled. And you're inhaling in your nose. And then exhaling. Inhale one last time. And exhale. Thank you, Spirit. I love that. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to go proceed with this beautiful tongue drum. As I said, this will help to just raise the vibration and the frequency so that we can get a very beautiful, clear, concise message for you all, Ashe. So let's go ahead. I had a couple of little mix-ups. I am not no professional. <laughs> but um, I just want to go ahead. You know, like I said, uh, I was away for a little while, for everyone that knows. And, you know, one of the messages that came through from Spirit, one of the downloads I received, was to start incorporating, um, you know, a sound bath before the readings. Uh, that really helps to, you know, really just ground your energy open you up to the messages and so that's what I've been doing these past few uh, readings is really doing a nice little sound bath just a little sham sham you know what I'm talking about so it's like I got these instruments and I want to implement them in the reading you know it's really good because it does change the frequency and the vibration um, within that space you know so that's what I desire to do for you all as well so let's go ahead I'm gonna turn my music on see what we got playing in the playlist let's see what we got all right and it looks like it's most deaf the name of the song is called the ponties so are you brothers like fantasizing about somebody because with the panties playing just sounds like you may be like um thinking about perhaps the last intimate moment with someone very special um i feel like you most definitely are into someone um, you know, attracted to someone physically. Maybe you are thinking about purchasing someone like a little lingerie set, you know, maybe a little teddy, you know, maybe you're like perusing Victoria's Secret for a purchase for someone's solar return that could be coming up. Or maybe, you know, you're, you're looking for someone's, um, Christmas gift or maybe it's just a gift because you're thinking of them. Maybe you're imagining someone in a particular um, Ensemble, 
you know, but it, it, with the panties, I, I definitely feel these are like very intimate thoughts. Maybe some of you brothers are out there, uh, you know, self-pleasuring, you know. Uh, but let's see what we got on the split. We got new beginnings, and then we have the 63, and it says parenting. So some of you all could be dealing with the mothers to your children's or to your children. Maybe there's an opportunity to resurrect a relationship, a connection with the mothers of your children or child. I feel like with this new beginning, because the 63 breaks down to 9 and then the 1, so 9 is the highest number of change. I feel like maybe there's an opportunity to correct some things through communicating. Maybe the lines of communication is opening up because the blue inside of this um, this symbol here, this geometric symbol is showing that there's a desire to communicate. Someone has had some sort of epiphany. You know, maybe you all are mustering up the strength and courage to, you know, perhaps stand up to your own parents. Maybe you all have like, you know, parents that are very intrusive, you know, very, could be overbearing even. But I feel with this new beginning, this is like a fresh start. This is like moving forward, powering ahead. This is like a new beginning, a new opportunity. And with this, this is like, um, I believe this is, it looks like red. Because one deals with the root chakra. So this is about your stability. Maybe you all are learning to stand perpendicular in your square. So this person here, let me turn this down because I don't know if it's overpowering me. So it's like this person really, you know, that you are thinking of, it's like I don't feel like you've expressed, you know, your feelings towards them very much. Because what most deaf just said is, I got so much that I want to do, but I can show you better than I can say. So maybe you all just... You know, you, you want to be active. You want to be proactive. You want to show someone how much you care. You know, and I feel for some of you all, this could be someone that you can maybe, if this isn't the mother to your child or children, or if this isn't an overbearing parent, maybe you could see yourself with someone, um, you know, co-parenting, raising children, creating that nucleus, that family, you know. Um, this could be someone that's like, you know, single, independent because I'm getting like the nine of pentacles here someone who could be very nurturing very maternal or very um, domestic very loving loyal you know you see this person as very radiant you know because this yellow is just a very vibrant color maybe there's been some sort of epiphany you know and with this song the panties I definitely feel like you are fantasizing a lot about this person you know a feminine energy um, and you want this new beginning. This one is a very felicious energy, which is why I was picking up self-pleasure. You know, you, you being very attracted to someone, having a lot of passion, a lot of desire. But let's see what the cards say. Let's tap into the energy. Yeah, you're definitely thinking about somebody up in your head a lot. Whenever I see the 71 in the health, because there's purple inside of this, you know, symbol here. Uh, the purple deals with like the crown chakra. It deals with your intuition, the mind, thinking, thoughts. Um, and because it says health, I feel like this is like giving me like that eight of swords type of energy where you're really up in your head about something self-sabotaging though, because you're not opening up your throat chakra. You're not expressive. You're not communicating, you know, so with this health, that's just telling me that you could be like, you know, kind of like, um, analysis paralysis, overthinking, you know, over talk, like, you know, kind of like not taking control of your subconscious thoughts, you know, allowing your ego, your pride, and all of those things to interfere, you know. Uh, but that really is anxiety. It's mental conflict. It's being in two minds, even stressing. It's overanalyzing, overthinking. It's just not a healthy place to be. That's why it says health, because it's like your mental health is being compromised uh, by constantly thinking about something. When you're constantly in your head and you're not actively working out 
whatever that problem may be, then it becomes very daunting, becomes overwhelming. And so it's important to express yourself. That's why communication is key to getting a clear understanding or to even just letting things off your chest. You can't walk around suppressing your feelings and hiding your emotions and things like that. So I just feel like spirit is telling you, yep, see that? So maybe some of you all, this is what spirit is telling you. You need to, to grow in terms of your ability to communicate. Trust your intuition. Trust the process. And I just saw 1524, um, and that's 6-6. Six, six. And so 6-6 six, six reduced to 12 is 3. And so that's about, you know, that, that, that energy of like maybe you're strategizing because I'm getting like the three of wands type of energy, you know, waiting to take action or, you know, almost like preparing for something to come in. The three of swords I also received. So heartbreak. And that could be why you're like overwhelming and stressed out thinking about something but I do see here like with this seven this could be saying like this is you know this is where you started off and this is where you are now so it's like you've taken control of your own subconscious thoughts just as I said you should 16 16 on the clock that's seven seven that's 14 that's five so now you will be able to communicate because what I'm getting from this is like you moved out of that space of being up in your head and now you're going to uh, take action. I'm getting like the seven, which is the chariot. So it's like now you're going to take action because you are balanced. You are grounded within yourself. So now you can take action because you're trusting your intuition more. You know, maybe you were uh, being met with some resistance because someone may have had their guard up. Someone that's been growing and maturing that you have been, you know, kind of like emotionally tied to and connected to. It's like now they are giving you this opportunity. Spirit is giving you this window of opportunity to kind of like, you know, go after whatever it is you want. Because maybe you are feeling more, you're feeling more confident. You're feeling more assertive even. What is this plane? I have no idea what this is, so I'm just going to skip over to the next song. And this is Amber Mark. And this is called Love Me Right. So I do feel like you all have learned, you know, um, the meaning of love. Maybe you wasn't loving someone right. Maybe you all got caught in a connection where someone wasn't loving you right. But I feel like you, you are now ready and willing to shoot your shot or to you know this time around you're going to hit your mark because her name is amber mark you could be dealing with someone named amber last name middle you know or even the first name last or middle i should say so let's tap in tune and let's see what's coming and going out going on for my divine masculine divine spirit of love and light what's coming and going out going on so this card flipped over as i was doing you know the um cutting the deck so time out. So a lot of you all have been taking a time out. Maybe you have been in some sort of um, hermit mode. You've been taking some time out to assess yourselves. And now this time out, maybe someone put you in time out. Maybe you, you have been kind of like in that mode of just kind of like uh, solitude, really healing, growing, loving yourselves, learning to love learning how to love because you had to love, learn to love yourselves. But this time out has provided some sort of epiphany with that, that sun, that sunny yellow inside of that symbol. It just remind, it just gives me the sense that you now have clarity or there's some been some sort of, you know, illumination on a situation um, that may have ended, you know, fairly, um, it, it, it ended I would say harshly or, you know, just kind of like unexpectedly maybe because I just get a sense like there was probably some confusion. You know, maybe there was some miscommunication. Maybe you weren't really sure of what you wanted. You know, maybe there was some other underlying factors. On the bottom of the deck, we have eight manifestations. So you all have some sort of wish fulfillment here. 
you've been learning how to manifest. Maybe there's someone that you love very deeply, dearly, that you are manifesting, that you are calling in because you want to love this person, right? You want this person because you feel like they will love you, right? So let's see what we got. So who is this person that our Divine Masculines is attracting? Who is this person our Divine Masculines is attracting? I see a new beginning. And remember we did um, see that on the split. Because 37 breaks down to 1. And 1s are always about new beginnings. And that is a masculine number as well. So I do feel this is, you know, in relation to you. You've been in some sort of time out. Or you've been really studying, studentship, learning, growing. Seeking higher wisdom, knowledge, you know, seeking wise counsel, perhaps, you know, maybe this is just you in solitude, focusing on work, healing thyself. We saw the new beginning, which was one. And I said that was dealing with the root chakra. So maybe you've been learning to stand perpendicular in your square, learning to be independent, self-sufficient and, and self-reliant. You know, this is about individuality. And not being codependent on another person. Person you're attracting is this. So this says 63. And 9 is all about, like I said, that's the change. So this person is going through some sort of change. Maybe this is someone who is a mother. 21, 21, 33, three, that's 6. This is someone from your past that you know. And maybe children was a factor. Children played a factor. Whoever this person is, maybe you see them as very maternal. You see them as someone that could be the mother to your child. Maybe this is the mother to your child. I do feel like there's an opportunity to communicate. And, you know, if you do have children with someone and there was some sort of disagreement or you've been at odds or there was some sort of pause or ghosting or disconnection, I feel like there's an opportunity to, you know, at least get on the same page, to be able to have a more... Um, a healthier con uh, relationship. And I feel it's because, you know, the communication. But with love me right, maybe you was dealing with a mother to your child that just didn't love you right. You know, maybe you all were dealing with karmic parents. Maybe you all had some really challenging um, relations, you know, relationships with your parents. And I did hear like overwhelm, uh, overbearing mother or even a father that was very judgmental, very harsh. But I feel there's definitely some sort of epiphanies. Yeah, and we have the stylistics break up to make up. So this is someone I feel, you know, that is the mother to your child. And you all may have had that kind of back and forth relationship where you break up just to make up. Break up to make up, that's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for fools. So that's probably like how you felt. That's why you took this time out. You know, you had to take a time out because it was just this constant back and forth. Or maybe someone took... A break from you because it was just like y'all was constantly on this emotional roller coaster ride. Yeah, this definitely whoever you are attracting, how they feel about you is like they've been changing, you know, and it's it's like healing, not just changing for the worse, you know, where they become very, um, you know, honorary in their ignorance. No, this is someone who's been growing and healing and learning to prioritize themselves and love themselves. You know, and maybe this is something that has really intrigued you because this five, this 14, you know, there's an opportunity for the conversation, you know, to take place where you two can kind of meet on, you know, find a healthy medium or try to at least co-parent. Because maybe you and this person have had some difficulties getting on the same page to co-parent your children or your child. You know, um, there's, you know, you've all just kind of accepted that, okay, we can't be in a relationship, but perhaps maybe we can just co-parent. So you're being more cordial. You're being open. The communication is, you know, has an opportunity to uh, just get better, you know, because you can't 
co-parent if y'all are on two different pages and if you're bringing in your beef, your drama from the relationship into conversations that are supposed to be rooted um, or related to, you know, the children and their betterment. And But I feel there's been positive changes because this green is showing me growth. It's showing healing. You know, green deals with the heart chakra. So maybe this, this, this energy of just someone learning to love themselves. And remember, we just had Amber Mark um, love me right. So someone is learning their love language or learning to love themselves. And we all know that love is an inside job. And you cannot change anyone except for you. So maybe there was a relationship where, you know, you, you all may have gotten together when you were younger and there was just a lot of odds, a lot of disagreements. You both basically grew up together. But these changes, positive changes, I see moder uh, an environment underneath that. So this is more green. You know, this environment card is telling me this is absolutely someone that you have planted seeds or roots with. You have some sort of um history with this person maybe some of you all might feel that this is a wish fulfillment for you with this orange i do feel this person has learned to you know own their power or stand up for themselves in the process of separation maybe you've witnessed some sort of growth spurt within this person or you've witnessed them transform. They've had some sort of rebirth. This person has um, emerged uh, someone completely different. So let's see. Who is this person? Our beautiful Divine Masculines is attracting. How do they feel about us? So we got leadership. Yep. So you see this person as a boss. And with nine, like this 81 nine is giving me like nine of pentacles. You know, I was picking up nine of pentacles with this energy. That's your, the person you're attracting and how they feel about you is leadership. So maybe they feel like you, you know, are someone that's very like resourceful, practical, a go-getter, determined, willful, strong, you know, a provider. They see you as a boss. They see you as a leader. You know, maybe you come off real um, confident. You know, you have self-love, self-care. You prioritize yourself. You take care of yourself. You love yourself. There's pink on the inside of that symbol. And that orange is like you move to the beat of your drum. You do things your way. You move on your time. You know, you don't feel compelled or, or um, you know, you don't feel obligated, you know, to appeasing and pleasing other people. You know, it doesn't make you harsh. It just makes you real. But this is how they see you. They see you as someone that's like taking control you know, being in that energy of like, you know, someone who goes after what they want. Very assertive, very confident. And we have Dave East. This is called Enough and it's called Karma. See that? So, yeah, this is definitely someone who's now looking back, feeling like maybe they uh, did some things wrong. You know, because maybe they've watched you emerge or grow into this very confident divine masculine maybe when you was with them there was a lot of bickering fights arguments you didn't really know who you were but you took that necessary time out to grow you know times out time outs are necessary because it gives you that chance to kind of reflect introspect take those internal self audits to ground yourselves to heal yourselves to purify yourselves to purge purple you know people places and things purge certain ideologies and belief systems habits behaviors so now they see you emerging as someone who's transformed you know perhaps this is their karma because maybe they feel a little stuck maybe they feel held back because they have children maybe they can't move as freely you know i just saw 20 um never mind that that doesn't matter but I did see 2846. That's 1010. 10. So I do feel like there was some sort of painful ending. And we have on the bottom of the deck 26 love partnership. And we're about to uh, pull a card for what's hidden. So this person may secretly still love you, still, you know, garner these feelings for you. But I do feel there's been some sort of change. You've triggered a change in someone, maybe because you pulled back, you know. Because this person, the way they feel about you is with this parenting, maybe they want to co-parent. Maybe because they feel like you've had enough. Maybe this is their karma. Because at the time that you was trying to be a father or trying to be a husband or a fiance or their man, they was out, you know, they, they just wanted to argue all the time. Or maybe they wanted to party with their girls. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm getting the sense of, you know, a female that's constantly out with the girls, talking about they taking a trip. You know, almost like living a life like they were single, even though they weren't. But I see here with this 26 love partnership, I feel you may have left this connection or maybe someone is, you know, has, has left, walked away from you. Because I get like the eight of cups whenever I see this. You know, I get like the Eight of Cups where you have given so much to a relationship and felt very much um, bankrupt. You didn't feel, you felt emotionally bankrupt. You know, you felt like someone did not reciprocate. Like they did not match your vibration, fly, frequency, anything. So it was like you felt like you was doing most of the work on your own. And the name of the song that's playing right now is we have... Um, Toby Nwigi, and this is uh, it says uh, "Ode to Fat." So this is a song where he's, um, you know, giving honor to his his divine feminine, his wife. And so maybe with this love partnership, maybe you are, you know, kind of in your head because I'm getting like the eight of swords about this connection as well. Because maybe you still love this person. Maybe you did make an ode. Maybe you made some vows and those vows were not valued, you know. Someone may have defiled the sanctity of the relationship. And, you know, that could be why someone walked away, someone left. Maybe you defiled the, the, the relationship and this led to your divine feminine leaving. Or maybe someone that... You didn't realize was your divine feminine left. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines. I have a message of love and life spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love and a message of light. What's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love. Thank you, spirit. So I'm only taking what's upright. Everything else is going to be placed right on back into the deck. And I'm going to give my deck a bang, bang, boogie. Because there's a lot. What's hidden is they, they want to rush in. Okay. So what flew out is we have 61 self-love. Someone's learning to love themselves. You've taught someone. Maybe this is your energy, learning love. Because remember, we had um, love you right. So maybe you are loving yourselves right. Maybe this person is learning from watching you love yourself. Walking away sometimes is a show of self-love, self-worth. 32-32. So that was what led to the ending. That's 5-5. Five, five. Someone is going to express to you how, you know, you have taught them, you know, the value of love, the meaning of love. That you are the definition of love. Maybe you feel this about someone. Maybe they feel that about you. This this is coming towards you. Because 61 is the 7. That's the uh, chariot in traditional tarot in the major arcana. This is someone that could be a little guarded because they're protecting themselves. Because they are fearing that maybe, you know, there will be a repeat of something. But they're, they're loving themselves. And that's why this time out is here. Because someone has had to learn... In the absence of another person. And I feel not just someone. I feel both people have been learning. In the absence of the other. The value of love. The meaning of love. The importance of loving oneself. Like I was saying earlier. Love is an inside job. No one external should validate you. Yeah, and, and what they just said is, I'm having your baby. So this was a song he made for her when he, they first, uh, when they had their first child. Um, and so this is someone that you may have had a child with. Maybe you have someone that's pregnant with your child at this moment. And you could be, you know, maybe you all are not in a relationship at this time. And with the 61 self-love, it's like someone's learning. Like, I got to love me before I could love anyone else. And we got 71 health. So up in their head, you could be up in your head thinking about this whole situation. Thinking about your children. Think about their future. Thinking about just, you know, the importance. Because it's very important when you start having children to be able to co-parent. You know, to, it, it's more important. It, it's really healthier 
when a, charin, uh, a child has both parents in the household. Because, of course, that balance, you need that family, you know, you could teach them family values, you know, and unfortunately, you know, in black households, that's just, that has been, you know, uh, an issue for years. And a lot of us know that was by design, you know, um, but I will not go into that. But this here, the 71, somebody's up in their head constantly thinking about this situation. Whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting, this is like ruminating, pining, you know, and you just need to open up your throat chakra. I feel like you're, you're kind of like waiting for um, an answer from spirit. Maybe you're seeking guidance. See, and we got Nas speechless. There's no communication. Wow. So someone is definitely not communicating. I feel you all are not communicating. Maybe someone has put up a guard. You know, because I do feel like someone is very guarded. I get the 61. I get the seven of wands, you know, in a protective bubble, in a safe haven, you know, just, just kind of like very guarded, very, you know, setting up boundaries, not allowing anyone in. And this is a way that they, you know, protect themselves because this is how they love themselves. And maybe you're up in your head. Maybe they're up in their head because you could be protecting yourself. But I feel like with this health, this is like somebody really agonizing because of no communication, because we have Nas speechless. So it's like there's no communication. No, and we know that also because of this time out here. And I was picking up on that earlier, like no communication and someone desiring to reach out, whether this be you or them. So what is the outcome for my beautiful divine masculine lines? Oh, wow, they both flew out. Okay. So they gave me two messages. We got 74. That's nature. 74 is one half of the 1111. So I do feel like this person, you and this person have a very natural um, kind of like chemistry. You know, your conversation flows. You It's very stimulating. You're very stimulated by them. You know, maybe there's something very intriguing about that connection. But I do feel like y'all have a very like a similar um like thought process i feel like psychically or intuitively you all are on the same page you know you both may you know be thinking of one another a lot but i also feel there's love here you know this is someone who feels like you're the yang the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin rather um the the yang to their yin uh and they also feel like Everything with you is just natural. Like the, the conversations just flow. Maybe this is how you felt, like I said. But this is really also, you know, because that 74 reduces to 11, which reduces to 2. I feel like there's absolutely um, a desire to take action. But they're trying to figure out which course of action they should take. So this is about making decisions. You know, they could be in two minds and they need to trust their intuition because I'm getting like the high priestess vibes. So it's like maybe they are trusting their intuition uh, to lead them in the right path. So what we have is surrender and then we have a love partnership outcome. So spirit is saying um, perhaps with this 91 because that's 10 and then we got the 26 that 8. So this is like, you know, someone fleeing and spirit saying, no, surrender. So this is like someone playing hard to get. This could be you, you know, or this could be someone else. And we have, this is called Odessa. It's only. So with it's only, you know, I just get a sense like, you know, if, if someone's running from a situation, um, it's only prolonging it. That's why spirit is saying, you know, just surrender, surrender to spirit. Don't try to control the narrative. I feel like when you when when you surrender this new beginning, because remember, new beginning opened up the reading. So it's like when you surrender, there will be some sort of new beginning, new opportunity to repair. Because I feel like whether you feel someone is a wish fulfillment or they feel you're a wish fulfillment, but with this 26 and this nine, uh, nine, uh, what is that? 91, that 91 breaks down to 10, which breaks down to one. And that one and that 26, that reduces to nine because 26 reduces to eight. That eight and that one is nine. I feel that this person may see you as a wish fulfillment or you may see them as a wish fulfillment. Whatever the case may be, 
This is the card of how they feel about you. That's again, that 981 leadership. So they do feel like you're a wish fulfillment because they see just how much of a go-getter you are. You know, you're not the type to sit down and laze around. You make ish happen. You make ish pop. Like you go get it. You know what I'm saying? You're a wolf. You go and get it. You don't sit around and wait for somebody to hand anything to you. And maybe this is something that they've come to realize. Maybe they didn't appreciate it. Because you know, most people, you know, don't appreciate what they have until it's gone, unfortunately. And obviously, there's been some sort of separation or isolation or miscommunication or a disconnection. And, you know, that's really why this person is here because it's like they've had some sort of epiphany. All this yellow is like, aha, like, you know, some sort of grand epiphany. And, and, and they're desiring to express something to you. And Spirit is saying this is the mother to your child with Toby Nwigi with the O to, to fat. And she's saying, I'm having your baby. And this is the parenting, 4040 on the clock. This is absolutely that person that's up in their head now that you could have walked away from. You know, they're agonizing over the situation because maybe they did some things that was very questionable or they just caused a lot of drama when it didn't have to be any. Maybe they're seeing you now as a wish fulfillment. They're seeing you as someone, you know, um, that's everything that they are asking, you know, that they've asked for. You know, maybe they didn't realize what they had until it left, you know, because maybe they went out there and saw the pickings were very thin. You know what I'm saying? Slim pickings out here. There's not many real ones. There's not many people who are, you know, from that breed that still upholds the, 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 the values, those core values that, you know, some of the great grand elders, you know, the grand um, mothers and fathers, you know, had. You know, we, we had some really wise wise elders, you know what I'm saying? Back, you know, when I was growing up, it's like I could I would I loved sitting under like my grandmother and her sisters and just listening to them have conversations or my grandfather or my uncles, like the wealth of knowledge that they had, the things they overcame, their resilience, their strength, it was just unmatched. And so maybe this person didn't appreciate who you was, divine masculine. You was too much of a real one for them. You know, they was chasing, you know, all of the, 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 the glitz and glamour, the material, you know, not appreciating that hardworking man or that man. You know, maybe they was looking for the, the, the you know, they, because, you know, the, the hip hop and the entertainment and celebrities that got people's people's like perspectives all twisted. You know, everybody's trying to be like this one and be like that one. And it's like, be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, be you. Appreciate where you are in life. All I see when I look at celebrities is lost souls. Because none of them look like what they looked like when they first started. Everybody done augmented their faces and changed this and pumped up that and plumped up this and took away that. And it's just like, they're not thinking about the future, what they're going to look like. You know what I'm saying? In 20 years when they got that big ass backpack on their ass. You know, it's just, it's crazy. You know, and, and then you've got these younger children influenced because this is what media pumps out and tells you this is what you need to focus on. And then so people get sucked up into that that illusion and a lot of people get trapped into wanting what the rappers are saying they should have or what the entertainers are bragging about. It's just like be you be comfortable in your skin, you know, but I digress. It's, it's sick. It's sick what's going on. That's why you got to decompress. That's why you got to unplug. That's why you got to take times out away from this nonsense. And I just saw 4343, which is 7714. So whoever this person is, and we got SWV always on my mind. So you're always on this person's mind. You know what I'm saying? And it's because you are their wish fulfillment, beloveds. They definitely feel like you are the one that got away. They definitely feel... Like they made a mistake and, you know, they didn't surrender to you. Maybe this was someone that didn't want to, um, I don't know if I, you know, submit, you know, because they say like a woman is supposed to be submissive to their, their man and not in a way where it's like you're, you're, you're just like trying to cater to them hand and foot. Um, but it is like, you know, it is a show of 
you know, of love, like you're nurturing, you know, that's a feminine energy is to nurture their, their, their loved ones, their family, their man. Um, and so maybe someone was resistant to that four, 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 four on the clock. So that four, 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 four reduces to 16. That's seven. So this person was guarded. They wouldn't let their guard down, but now you're always on this person's mind. They can't stop thinking about you. And I'm hearing sisters with voices. That's the acronym uh, for um, SWV is sisters with voices. So they definitely, this is a sister who had a voice, like always argumentative, very outspoken, very aggressive, even in some manners. And they refused. It was like very egotistical, like very proud. You know, they refused to like to let their guard down or to let you lead because now they could see you as a leader. Maybe before they weren't trusting and maybe it had nothing to do with you. Maybe it had a lot to do with their childhood, their upbringing. People become products of their environment. So it's important to get to know people because then you get to know whether or not you all are compatible. But so many people go based off of the physical attraction and they don't dive deeper. They don't get past the surface. And so that's why they get stuck in these karmic relationships. Remember, we saw karma earlier. And uh, what was that song? I don't even know what the song was. Um, oh, yeah, Dave East, uh, Dave East. So they had enough of the karmic, you know, life. They probably with somebody that just they worse off than they ever been. You know, they could have left you thinking it was going to be, you know, sweeter on the other side. And that person could have ended up being married Promising them they was going to leave the wife. And we all know that doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm going to leave my wife. I'm going to leave. You know, and then it never happens. And then you be st sitting there waiting forever. And then you just end up being the, the side piece. And that could have been what happened. You know what I'm saying? But let's clarify these messages, beloved. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. What do I want to use? I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this deck. Let's see what we've got with the energy oracle so we got carnucopia on the bottom of the deck that's beautiful energy this speaks to like the seeds that you've sowed in good faith they're now like blossoming spirit is blessing you with some sort of new beginning some success expansion growth opulence this is like wish fulfillment abundance rewards recognition and this is like you you you're gonna have plenty you know this is like being you know taking care of for your todays and all of your tomorrows and then we got the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. So that three is very powerful. And we got the 37. And remember, 37 here. So a lot of you all, I feel like you all was really taking that time out to heal thyself. 37 is, again, you know, that one. So that's like what you did. You said, I'm going to start back uh, with the self. One is related to you, the self. And so really facing your fears, mustering up the strength and courage to heal from you know perhaps maybe childhood traumas one is the root chakra so that's really the root cause of a lot of issues maybe if you did have some sort of misconception of love or um really didn't have um a love language or wasn't really emotionally intelligent maybe this is something that you had to muster up the strength and courage to work towards um so that you can learn to love right so that you can learn to love yourselves even and we have jagged edge um, and this is called I Gotta Be. Yeah, so you realize you had to be, you know, you had to be strong for you. You had to really um, focus on self-love, self-care, self-discipline, self-worth, self-value. That's what y'all focused on, the self. Like, while y'all was in this time out, y'all wasn't just wasting time. Y'all was really working on yourselves. And that's why spirit is rewarding you. With this 11, this is like spirit opening up, you know, the the um, doors of opportunity for you because you've earned this. You've taken that necessary time out to heal yourself, to grow. And that's why that yellow is there, you know, in the purple. Purple deals with the crown chakra. So you have a very strong connection psychically or, you know, spiritually to your spirit team, angels, guides, ancestors. You've devoted a lot of time building and nurturing that relationship. And that's why I feel now you're getting a lot of downloads or you're having a lot of things illuminated. A lot of information is, is starting to, you know, kind of come through. 
perhaps intuitively, telepathically. Maybe some of you all are starting to see a lot of synchronicities. Maybe you're having certain sensations, dream activities. But I do feel like it's like that timeout was very necessary. And you realize now, you know, because maybe before you weren't a believer, but now you know it got to be because got to be got to play. And I feel like you, you realize you got to be, you know, you got to be standing firm in your beliefs. You can't let anybody come in and influence you anymore or uh, manipulate you. Gaslight. It's like you got to be in control of yourself. You can't submit your will. You can't let anybody manipulate or dupe you into doing things. It's like if it doesn't sit right in your spirit, you're not going to do it. Because this is what it does. It has you all caught up. Remember I was saying I was hearing like um, I was getting like the eight of swords type of energy. Well, this is the five. The five is always like very conflicting energy, arguments, challenges, disagreements, hostile energy. Or someone like really trying to keep you trapped. This is someone that is, you know, really like um, keeping you caught in some sort of illusion with their words. Whenever I see this big head wrap, I just feel like that's all the confusion and the words and all the manipulation, the stress, the anxiety, the mental conflict, you know. And then this trap is really also self-imposed because as I always remind people, like when you submit your will, that's like giving someone else power and some sort of domain or uh, authority or dominance over you. And it's like, never do that. So this person may have believed in something they said. And that's why Jagged Edge is saying, I got to believe. I got to believe in my own intuition and in my own ability opposed to, you know, giving that power to somebody else. So let's see. Let's tap into an in divine spirit. What's coming and going on, going on for my beautiful divine masculines? They have a message of love and of light. And we have delegation. This is called Oh Honey. So delegation, I feel like spirit is definitely saying that things are going to be working out in your favor. You know, you taking that time out, you making the call to unplug, disengage, disconnect and work on you. There's going to be something sweet coming in because, oh, honey, is what I'm seeing. That's the name of the song. It says delegation. The name of the song is, oh, honey. And so you're going to have something sweet coming in. That's why the Carnocopia opened up the reading because I feel like you're going to have some sort of blessing, new opportunities presenting themselves, financial blessings. Maybe you're going to receive some sort of job offer, a loan offer. Maybe you're going to purchase something. Maybe you're doing something for you because you know your worth. You know your value. We already see that you're a boss in someone's eyes. So you are very good with money management, very financially um intelligent so we have on the bottom of the deck the magician the man and the magician or the uh, magician and the and the mirror so definitely what did i say this is you know working through your shadow side doing that work that internal work not allowing yourselves to um stay stuck you know it's like whatever was happening maybe someone left you and it triggered you to do some work on yourself but this is also speaking to, you know, you learning to be that that magi, you know, setting your intention, setting goals for yourself, you know, not settling, but also like realizing that you are co-creators with source, that you have the power. And remember, I was saying that nine. Remember, we saw the nine here and I was saying this person sees you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that is selfish and loving you now. This is also how this person feels about you, that you are a boss, a leader. And remember, this 37 just flew out. I mean, this um, man and the magician, 35. Uh, what is it? It's 53. Thank you, spirit. And this uh, 37. So that's nine again. So this is just confirming that this is your energy. Like you have transformed or have morphed into the Magi. You know how to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. So you know how to navigate, you know, this dimension, this plane. And you know how to work things out in your favor. We got attachments here. So this is like that karmic energy that I was speaking of. Someone is being forced to look at themselves. They was wearing a mask. This could be your energy. You know, but I feel this is the person you're uh, attracting to you because we're about to clarify 63 parenting. And I was picking up that this could be the mother of your child. 
or children, or this could be a karmic parent, you know, but this was with this attachment is just confirming that this is someone who really is in the dark themselves, wearing a mask, being almost like, um, you know, very deceitful and deceptive in their ways and they're being forced to look at themselves because you've held up some sort of mirror this is called the magician and the mirror so you've held up a mirror to this person and that's why they're now looking at this mask that they've been wearing they weren't aware they had a mask until you revealed it to them this was someone very codependent codependent on you that's why I was picking up. You had to learn to stand independently and become an individual because you could have been carrying around this baggage for years. Carrying around, not so much, I don't want to call a person baggage, but it's like it, it was overwhelming the responsibility that was on your shoulders because perhaps this person failed at doing their part. You know, because I was picking up you being very emotionally um, bankrupt. It's like you were giving everything. Eight was giving me the eight of cups type of energy. So eight of cups is too short of ten. So if you're giving all of the emotional and financial um, investment in a relationship, this person was definitely um, neglecting being neglectful of their part they weren't doing their part and now they're seeing that clearly they're realizing that they was like it was literally like they were holding you back they were keeping you stuck you could see here the chain you know that has them stuck there so this is you know kind of like how they may have had you feeling kind of stuck and stagnant I like almost like a an energetic you know anchor And that's why they're receiving some sort of karma because with delegation, I feel like there's going to be some sort of judgment on this person. And it's it's like causing a lot of um, conflict within their own mind. They're mentally conflicted as well. So let's see, why is the 63 parenting here for this person that our beautiful divine masculines is attracting? May have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And we have a victory here on the bottom of the deck. So we have 4th Chakra, Archangel Raphael, 4 deals with the Heart Chakra, and then we have the 29, which is reducing to 11, and that's the world. So they are definitely, you know, healing from some sort of ending, this definite distance. This could be someone that is at a distance, you've created distance, you've moved away, and I feel like this person has learned something um, in your absence, and we got 11-11 here. I just noticed that. So 1111, this is someone that you do have a strong connection with. Because remember, with this 7411, I was feeling like this was the other half of that twin flame, cosmic companion. Well, they may feel this way about you, that you are the one that got away. Because remember, this is how they're seeing you as someone bossed up, seeing you as a wish fulfillment, someone that they have love for. Because you've learned to love yourselves. You know, you wasn't going to put up with somebody giving you the bare minimums and then you're just stuck doing all the work. This is the ending. This person is at a distance with the world. I do feel like something has completed. Maybe they've been growing. They've been learning. They've been healing as well. You could have triggered them. They definitely are in love with you. I do feel like they love you. Because 1111 reduces to 4. That's the heart chakra. And Archangel Raphael is dealing with the heart chakra. So this is someone that realizes they love you. And they could have messed things up. With this victory, how they feel about you is you are very victorious. You may have had some sort of like powerful breakthrough recently. Perhaps in your career. You know, maybe with a business um, idea or business uh, model that you've been working on it's like you may have just received a, the green light uh, with a, a loan you know but you maybe you received some sort of promotion you know it's like your life is, has been upgraded and they see you as very successful and they want this new beginning they want a successful new beginning with you and we have Queen Latifah Latifah's had it up to here so how they feel about you is they feel like you are like tired of their nonsense. You know, they're tired. You're tired of, you know, the constant back and forth. But they do want a victory, I feel like they want a new beginning because this 28 
reduces to one. So they do want a new beginning with you. They do want to try to reconcile, resuscitate, you know, this connection. So let's see, why is this 81 leadership here for my divine masculine? For how this person they're attracting feels about our divine masculine? Why is the 81 here for how this person feels? So we got the 33, 6. And remember I saw, I believe it was, I don't even remember what it was. It was like 21, no, it was uh, 20... I think it was like 20, I don't even remember, but I know I said it was 3-3, uh, three, three, which reduces to 6. And so this, um, oh, no, 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 I'm confusing it. But anyway, back to what I was saying. This this right here is 33. So this 33 reduces to 6. That could be seen as the lovers. Um, the lovers is really like a very obvious divine connection. Someone that absolutely feels you have the key to their heart. You know, their heart has been locked away, you know, or maybe they feel your heart has been locked away, like, but they feel they have the key to your heart. This person feels very much in love with you. This is someone from your past that you absolutely have planted seeds and roots with. I definitely feel this person wants to return, wants to set things straight. I feel there will be some sort of opportunity to repair or to reconcile this connection, to heal it, to bring balance, to restore it. Um, I feel with the sixth chakra, that's another, uh, four, this is four, this is, this person feels this for you. With daughter romance, they feel you are a divine masculine. They also feel you're very, uh, very intuitive, very discerning, because this is uh, Metatron. And I just saw 111, so it is a divine feminine. You know, this is a divine feminine. They feel you match their fly. That's what I just heard. Because this divine feminine has been working on themselves. So spirit is telling you really just trust your intuition. You know, trust your intuition. Always remember to love you first. You you are your priority. And with Latifah's had it up to here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know you, you could be at your wit's end. Maybe this is driving them crazy because I was picking up with that health card that somebody was just constantly ruminating, finding. We did see all tied up when we was, you know, shuffling as well. And that's really an energy of like conflict, mental conflict. So let's see, why is this 61 self-love here for what's hidden in the energy may have a message of love and light? Thank you, spirit. See, it goes the king of pentacles. So the man holding a coin, that's 43. This is another seven. So this is confirming. They're coming towards you to offer you something real, something tangible. But this is someone also that sees you as someone that's like you got the Midas touch. It's like you're very guarded. You're focused on your coins, on your independence, your stability, your self-reliant. Self you know, they see you as very resourceful, very practical. But they also know that you're a nurturer. You know, and this is why they are, um, you know, secretly desiring you. Seven and seven reduces to 14. That's five. And they want to communicate with you. They want to set the record straight. They want to clear the air because they do feel that you are the one that got away. We got the door to personal healing and happiness. And we're about to clarify love partnership. So I do feel like this person and you are meant to be together, especially when we see clearly that this person... For the person you are attracting, it says 1111. These are the two cards that came out to clarify the parenting. So for some of you all, I see reconciliation with the mothers of your children or someone that could potentially become the mother of your child or children. This is someone that is absolutely um, going to mother or birth your babies. And with this 34, this is another 7. I feel like this person is rushing in. There's good things that are coming in, that are flowing in for you. Rewards, there's blessings, opportunities. I feel like there's been, you know, almost like some sort of release. You've been able to release a lot of negativity. We got Mary J. Blige featuring Fabulous, and this is called Come See About Me. So this person is going to take action and come see you, check in on you. They may call you first. And, and just to tap in, just to tap, tap in with you, see how you're doing. And we have 7 and 8, that's 15. So that's 6. Come, come, Miss Dear, about me. 
So this person absolutely is going to come see about you because they care about you. They love you. They feel like you're the one that got away. There's no question about it. They feel like you two are a match made in heaven because I see like the three, which is the divine feminine, the empress, and then the four, which is like the divine masculine. So with come, come and see about me and the door to personal healing and happiness, I absolutely feel like this person thinks that you are um, someone that could just bring all of this joy, this peace, this happiness, all of this love. Why is love partnership here for what's hidden in the end? I mean, for what's um, the outcome for my beautiful divine masculines may I have a message of love and light. Why is love partnership here? Oh, wow. See, I can't make this. Oh, wow. That's interesting. See, so we got the temple. So this is that person who is kind of like trapped. You know, this is because that's what you walked away from. So they're a little confused, mentally conflicted. You know, all tied up. Maybe they're tied up trying to get some things together. But this is really dealing with like mental conflict or just, you know, a very conflicting energy, challenging energy. We make a movie. We got some things to do tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry. So this is what they so that they they, they want to make a move, but maybe they feel tied up. You know, because because, you know, this is this is an action based card that 26 is giving me like, you know, positive movements forward. But they feel a little tied up. Maybe they're trying to get some things together, you know, but eight and five reduces to 13. So there's they're going through something karmic. We already saw the karmic or karma energy, you know, with the world. They're going through some sort of transformative time. Something is changing. Something is, you know, kind of shifting and pivoting in their lives. And so this is why they feel a little tied up, but they will eventually come and see about you because as I said, there's distance, there's, there's no communication, there's no contact, but with this, this flew right back out. So we just saw that on the bottom of the deck and we have surrender. So spirit is telling you when this person does come in, surrender to it because this could be your wish fulfillment or they could be uh, looking at you as a wish fulfillment. As I said earlier, um, with that 91, one, and then the 34, 8, that gives me like the star energy. So this could be someone that has been praying for you. We see the magician. Maybe you've been manifesting this person or they've been manifesting you. Whatever the case may be, I just feel like this is destined. And we have Marvin Gaye, I want you singing. So this person does want you. Maybe you want them. But this is like a very intense connection. And I feel it's very spiritual. And if you look closely, there's like this beautiful dove. So this does speak to, you know, doves are um, symbolic of, you know, rebirths, you know, it's like, you know, sparking a, a love connection with someone and, and healing a love connection with someone that you already know that you're aware of. So this is beautiful and they want you, you know, maybe you want them badly, but this is what spirit is saying. Surrender. Don't try to control the narrative. Don't try to hold back and be up in your head maybe this is with all tied up you can you know really be kind of conflicted mentally and that's why you have to trust your intuition five is the hermit so someone has been learning you know to trust their intuition not the hermit pardon me the hierophant and on the bottom of the deck we have the 12 temple path so i feel like this could lead to marriage because the 12 reduces to three and that deals with the empress the empress is you know, uh, very beautiful, very royal. And this little, you know, this little uh, archway is usually where marriage ceremonies are taking place. So I just feel like there will eventually be some sort of um, some sort of union. And we have here yin and yang. So this is the uh, yin to your yang, fellas, as I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and we're going to further clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got on the bottom of the dark grimoire. We have the high priestess. So I mentioned the high priestess earlier because I saw that 11, which breaks down to two. And this is the high priestess number. So this high priestess, there's a high priestess watching. You know, this could also be speaking to your, in, um, you know, you just trusting your intuition on the split. We have the knave of chalices. So there's a message. 
Maybe you know that intuitively, like somebody's coming in or there is some sort of offer of love or an apology. And that could be the reason why somebody's up in their head trying to figure it out. But there goes the Queen of Cups. So the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Somebody loves you. Somebody wants you also. You could be dealing with someone that's Marvin, that, that's named um, Marvin, last name, or gay, last name. Maybe some of you all are in a same-sex relationship. Maybe some of you all found out somebody was, you know, bisexual, was dealing with women. And you didn't know that. And maybe that's what caused the separation. I see the King of Swords here. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So someone's really like mums the word. They refuse to speak, you know, fearful of what to say. But they're holding on to you. And maybe they're trying to hold on to their secrets. I almost see this as somebody trying to take their secrets to the grave with them. You know, maybe some things happen. And that could be the reason why you cut someone off. Because you found out some things, you know. Let's tap in. Let's see what's going in, coming out, going on with my Divine Masculines. I do see a lot of chatter, a lot of negativity. Look at that Three of Swords. The depiction on this Three of Swords, I actually like because you don't see somebody sitting there whimpering and whining and crying. You know, even though there's a lot of ghosts and, you know, a lot of chatter and gossip and people, you know, trying to pump fear you know, into this young lady, what she's doing is she, her body language is saying it all very protective of her energy. That's the guardedness. That's the boundaries. You know, that's when you create that protective bubble. You know, whenever you cross your arms, that's like a protective space. I mean, a protective, um, you know, energy. And so whatever's happening, whoever's sending these demons, psychic attacks, spiritual attacks, because we just saw the high priestess. So this could be somebody who could have um, maybe, you know, some sort of spell work being done, you know, just some sort of, uh, you know, manipulation of the energy because with the magician in the mirror, that's literally what the magician does. It just manipulates situation in their favor and we have ghost face run featuring jada kiss we have a message so yeah so this is a runner this is somebody that was running you know running from the connection maybe you were running from the connection but let's tap in we'll see we'll see what's coming and going out going on for my divine masculines after we clarify these messages we'll wrap it up so we have in the bottom of the deck, got the Page of Swords. So somebody's definitely like, oh, this is the Knave of Wands. I said the Page of Swords, pardon me. So this Knave of Wands, that's really like a message, some sort of communication that's coming in. You know, I feel like you all have been like in this, you know, in the solitude, you know, in a space of solitude, uh, really just kind of like growing and learning and in a very studious energy even, even learning to master your craft, sharpen your sword. And I do feel like someone wants to communicate with you. This could have been that runner. This could have been that person that uh, chose another option over you. And now they wish to perhaps extend an olive branch or try to clear the air, express some things to you. Maybe you've manifested something and it's coming in and you receive some really good news. Uh, whatever this is that you're manifesting. So there's some news um that is um coming in but with ghost face i do feel like this person that you may have ghosted because remember we got time out here so this is about taking a time out when you time out you know it's like you you leave a situation so that you can kind of like go within and try to meditate to get things straight contemplate you know on a circumstance and i just feel like you know maybe someone felt ghosted by you as you did this but I do feel like that, that conversation that I was picking up on so much through this reading is coming in. And what did I say about judgment? Didn't I say that this person you was dealing with was going through some sort of karma and they're having some sort of judgment based off of their former actions? We're about to get a pull a card, a clarifying card for the person you're attracting. So they were going through karma. They had to learn some lessons. They had to remove the mask. And they had to look at themselves. Spirit forced them. And now they're coming towards you. They've had some sort of epiphany. You know what I'm saying? They've been running from the truth all this time. They have a message to clarify this person that is 
that uh, our Divine Masculine is attracting the 63, okay? And we have the Seven of Wands. Didn't I mention the Seven of Wands? This is what you've been doing. You've been like blocking all of this person's negativity. See that? They're heartbroken. Three of Swords. They could have had some people in their ear. This is like, you know, maybe they had some sort of incubus energy around them. Like I said, I just felt like somebody was, um, you know, maybe have left the situation thinking the grass would be greener on the other side. And they had to learn. So they was a runner. They was running from this connection. Running from love. That's why Amber Mark was singing, love me right. This person did not love you right. And so you could have ran away from the connection and left them right there to deal with whatever they was dealing with. You know, I feel like you all chose yourselves. That's what I heard in my mind's eye. Like you chose you. But with this three of swords, the person that you're, you're attracting, this is what they are dealing with. You know, they're definitely um, recovering from some sort of heartbreak. And they're protecting themselves. And I do feel like they've learned some sort of lesson. And that's why this uh, Archangel Raphael is here. Because they did suffer heartache and loss. They did go through something very painful. And I do feel it was karma. Whatever they did to you, it's like they got it back tenfold. And I feel like that's why they know you're guarded. They feel you're very guarded. You know, you're guarded and you've taken control over your life. You know, you've taken control over your life. They feel like also you would be guarded if they came in offering you love. They want to romanticize you. You know, this is someone who knows that you may be like a helpless romantic, you know, and they want to offer you something. It's like this person realized it's almost like they see you as, you know, maybe they feel like they're your kryptonite. Because whenever I see this stone in this man's hand, I feel like it's kryptonite, but it's also like protecting him from these demons. So it's like you are, it's like that's what you've bossed up to. Maybe they know that in the past they could have been your kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sex. And now that you've like bossed up, you're in this power. You're not falling for the same okie doke. You're loving yourselves, taking care of you. So let's see, why is uh, 81 Leadership 33 Daughter Romance here for how this uh, person that our Divine Masculines is attracting to them? Thank you, Spirit. And we got two, three cards. So I'm going to just take those and place them in these next three slots. I'm not going to take them all. Wait, should I take them all for this, for um, how they feel about our Divine Masculines? All right, I just heard yes. So these are all for this question. For the 81 leadership and 33, how they feel about you. All three cards are indicative. So they feel you are destined to be together. They feel like you are their destiny. Like this is this is a destiny type of love. And it's no coinky dink because we did see 1111 here. So they, very, they may very well feel that you are the yang to their yin. And we have DMX walking in the rain, featuring Nas, Exodus, Simmons, um, and Danon. So this person, they walk in the rain to hide their tears. They may cry a lot about the situation unbeknownst to you. And DMX is Dark Man X, so they could have definitely dealt with someone that was um, a karmic and I feel like this person brought a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt to them. Whoever this female was that fell for the okie doke and the seven of wands. See that? They feel like you're you're protecting yourself or you're, 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 you have these boundaries, this guard. Remember, I kept feeling like with the seven of wands, they, they feel you are guarded. See that? <laughs> and the king of swords. This is how they feel about you. Like they don't know if you're going to be open. You know, they feel like you are very guarded. And that's why this surrender is here for the outcome. Because I do feel like, you know, maybe after the conversation, you will feel like you're in a safe space. But you are ready to have that conversation. Whenever they come in, I feel like, you know, whenever they come in, they're going to come in like trying to be all love and light. <laughs> you know, um, because they know now you're in control. You're in that energy of power, like you know your worth, you know your value, you know who you are. So you're not just going to let them come in and just stomp all over you like they did before. Or, you know, maybe they were emotionally manipulative or maybe they just, you know, they knew they were your kryptonite. Because I was picking up a sense that like they knew um, 
you know how much you love them so you may have just you you, you could have just been someone who spoiled your woman but look what they're doing. They're coming in to match your vibration. So you see that king of swords. They're coming in to match your fly. Remember, I was picking up on that with that three and four. You know, because three is the empress and four is the emperor in traditional tarot. And so this is, you know, that was clarifying the surrender card. And so they are knowing that they want to um, clear the air. And if you look, the divine feminine or this feminine energy, I should say, has a snake wrapped around her sword. So the snakes are very indicative of transformation as well. Um, yes, it can mean they would, you know, being very sneaky, you know, that you had to cut your grass. But I also feel like this is just showing that, you know, this person has been learning as well because the world card came out for them in addition to, you know, Archangel Raphael. So their angels have been helping them to heal, to learn to grow, you know, to also love themselves. Maybe they didn't really fully love themselves because they too didn't have a real understanding of what love was. So love me right. They had to love themselves right. You had to love yourselves right. So you both had to do this, you know, separate of one another. And they're coming in to have this dialogue. You both are ready. Both of your swords are upright. So you both are ready. She's hold, She has like what appears to be like more like a dagger of some sort. And the masculine has a sword. So I do feel like they're, they want to reel you in. You know, they do want to reel you in. But let's see. Why is this uh, 61 self-love and man holding a coin here for what's hidden in the energy? And we have Miles Davis. I fall in love too easily. So what's hidden in the energy is, you know, they may feel, like I said, that you, that they might be your kryptonite. You know, maybe they know that you are a helpless romantic because romance is here. So how they feel about you is romance. So they do love you. This is that person from your past. And so we have now the um, king of wands. So I fall in love too easy. They could have been a wanderer. Like they was just had wandering eyes, non-committal, in and out, flighty, unreliable. Maybe they got distracted by other people because I'm getting almost even the seven of cups with this seven here. You know, and the seven of cups is about choices. Having too many can be confusing. And this, you know, uh, king of pentacles here, you know, so somebody was like very distracted and then we have this magician again. So this magician, they're trying to manifest you back, it looks like. It looks like they are really up at night trying to figure out how to bring you back. With I fall in love too easily. I, I Shoot, maybe they're manipulating your energy to get you back. But I do feel with temperance, this is saying like divine timing is of the essence. You know? Good things take time to create. I feel like spirit is kind of like working with someone, helping someone, helping someone set some sort of intention. I fall in love too easily. So maybe this is this person that wants you back. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. So they're trying to match your vibration and your energy. Maybe that King of Wands is just saying that's where you are now, where you're just taking charge, you're moving forward because that 81 leadership, you know, that's that energy of someone very assertive, very confident, you know, someone very strong willed, minded. But you're also very seen as very, you know, successful. You know, you got the Midas touch, you're making things happen. And the magician helps with that because you are a co-creator. And so this Queen of Wands, this is this divine, you know, this feminine energy trying to match your vibration. And there goes the Two of Chalices here as well. So this is what they're feeling, you know. This is absolutely what they're feeling. They feel you are the one that got away. Remember I was mentioning the 26 is the Eight of Cups. So there goes the last two cups, which brings the Eight of Cups. I mean the Ten of Cups. So the eight of um, this 26, eight was giving me like the eight of cups. So you walked away and chose yourself because something was emotionally, you know, imbalanced. It was out of equilibrium. It was disharmony. It was no harmony. And so this is why someone was like up in their head about this connection. Because now they realize that this is love. This is someone I fall in love too easily. So someone has fallen in love with you. 
This is someone that you will have equal give and take with Divine Masculine Lines. Look how these two are just like, just staring into one another's eyes, in each other's energy. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of, that you both are caressing one another. It's almost as if you've just, you know, come back into union. And it's just like you both are just kind of touching each other. Like, is this real? And see that? That tower moment. So there was absolutely some sort of painful ending. That's why we have this all tied up. Because whoever this person is that's coming towards you, this is what they are thinking about. How to have this union, but they're fearing this tower. So the tower is going to fall regardless because the tower is when there's lies. See, someone realized they was dealing with an enemy, sleeping with an enemy. There's two of pentacles. You can see this person is trying to steal, um, trying to kill this person, trying to take them out. You know, maybe someone was uh, had some lies. Someone was deceived by lies. Someone was played by lies. Someone's heart was broken because of the lies. Whoever this was, this was a liar, a cheater. This was a Judas, a fake, a snake. This is someone that they trusted. And this is like the ish hitting the fan. There was a lot of lies, deception. Someone did not do their homework in impertinence to learning someone. And learning who they was dealing with or getting to know this person. I feel like this person felt deceived. And if you look, this book here, this is like the magician. You know, this is like the book of shadows here. So it's like maybe someone discovered someone was trying to... Do some sort of magic, manipulating their energy, keeping them stuck, keeping them confused, conflicted mentally, even emotionally. And we got the hangman here. So now they're forced to look at things from a different perspective. You know, and that's why they're hoping that you will be open, you know, that you would that you would open your heart to them. Because they do feel like this is the door to personal healing and happiness. Like this is a new opportunity, a new chance to reconcile. But I feel like spirit forced this person to, you know, analyze not only their actions, but to look at you and observe the person that you are. And they could have learned a lot. This person could have also had some sort of addictions or afflictions. They have a message. Thank you, spirit. So I'm not taking all 55 gazillion cards. What I'm going to do is, wow, I see the Empress, see the Six of Pentacles, I see the Fool, Chalice, and I'm hearing um, somebody just drove by playing Hip Hop Hooray by um, Tretch. So I see the High Priestess, I see the Star, and I see the Five of Wands. Very interesting. So the high priestess I did mention that was I believe that opened up the reading. So this is that person that spirit is telling you use your intuition. My spirit of love and light. Let me get a message. Get my cards bang bang boogie. And so we have woman here, and this is by John Legend. So absolutely, this is your woman. This is the woman. That you, whoever you're thinking of, as I do this reading, whoever this divine feminine um, that is attracted to you, loves you, that feels you are the one that got away, that feels that you match their vibe. I mean, their, uh, their fly, their vibration, their frequency, the like mind. They feel like you are that one, you know, that they are looking at you as the star. You know, there goes the emperor. We just saw the empress. Now there goes the emperor. So this person is in love with you. This woman is in love with you. There's no denying it. And they want to heal this connection. They want to repair it. This could be the mother of your child or someone that will become the mother to your children. Can I get a message? Why is 91 surrender, door to personal healing and happiness here for my divine masculines? Thank you, spirit. And we have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that wants to give to you. So we got a lot of cards. There's a lot of cards coming out to clarify. So this person has a lot to say because there's no communication, as we know. So with the Eight of Chalices, didn't I mention the Eight of Chalices? This is how they see you. That's why they want you to surrender. Because they're trying to offer you something, but you are not interested. In their eyes, they feel like you are going to be like, no, I don't want it. And that's why the surrender is here. You know, this person definitely wants to bring love and happiness and peace. You know, with this Five of Swords, it's like there's a lot of chatter there could be a lot of uh 
a lot of gossip, a lot of confusing energy, competitive energy, conflicting energy here. You know, the Five of Swords is really someone trying to win at all costs. I feel like you've realized somebody was, you know, not really didn't have, they, they didn't really have your best interest at heart. So you fled, you left that situation because with the Eight of Cups, like I said, that's like when you're giving so much of yourself and you don't feel the reciprocity, then you leave. That is the, the greatest show of love, the greatest way to show self-respect and self-discipline uh, uh, self is to walk away from something that is really trying to um, exploit you or take advantage of you. And so that's what you did. You got the five of cups here. And this person now is like anguishing, ruminating. This is like, you know, feeling deep regret, remorse, pain. Yep. You're the one that got away. They miss you. They feel like this connection is dead. They daydream about having you back. This is a woman because we have John Legend. I said John Legend. John Lennon, rising power, singing woman. So this person does. They want to work together. They want to repair this connection. They feel that the two of you make a hell of a team. And this is that person that is at a distance. They've, they've had some major transformation. There's been some major changes because we see the tower and we see the world. Those are the very painful endings, but they've learned a lot in the process. Because remember, your person that you're attracting, they also had the, the world card flow, fall out. So they do want to, you know, I feel repair this connection. They want to communicate. They want to return. They may want to travel to visit um, and visit you because we obviously see that you moved on, moved away. That's you fleeing in that ski, you know, that um, that boat. And they're sitting here like crying, like, why? Remember, we just had woman playing. So they, they realized the games they was playing that hard to get ish didn't work. And we have Queen and David Bowie that says under pressure. So they are under a lot of pressure um, with this ending. Whatever this ending is, I feel like, you know, they, they're having to start over, you know. They're having to start over. And if you look, this this queen is just, look how she sits, she's sitting here bored. It's like, you know, but she's watching you, keeping her eyes on you, sees you as, I heard a meal ticket, so fellas don't get got. You know, go with your intuition, go with your gut instinct. Don't just get with somebody because they come back or they return. Check for change behavior. You know, make sure that they, they come back showing, you know, because remember in, um, in the very beginning, the panties, somebody may come in and try to give you the panties or try to entice and try to be that succubus energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to be wiser. Don't think with your little head. Maybe they know, like I was saying, because I was hearing kryptonite. So maybe they feel like they're your kryptonite and you can't turn them down. Show them something different. Turn that ass down. They come in there trying to throw the ass at you after disrespecting, disregarding, or defiling the relationship they had with you before. And they think all they got to do is come back and throw that cootie cat at you. Please, get out of here. Bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a queen knows how to conduct herself. She's not going to come back and try to do that. They're going to come back and they will try to have a conversation, a dialogue to clear the air. So, you know, definitely make sure... That, you know, there's equal give and take. That you're not getting duped. That you're not, you know, going to pick up the slack where, right where y'all left off. Where you're once again falling into the trap of taking on all the responsibilities. Because what's hidden in the energy is they already know, you know, that you're about your coin. And we see clearly that they're going through some sort of, you know, painful ending. That they've had, you know, a lot of people trying to take them out. There's been a lot of lies. So whatever lies and deceit they've been going through. It's like they definitely are realizing like, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So they are under pressure and that could be the reason why they're coming back. So let's see. Let's clarify some messages with mine, my deck, and then we're going to wrap it up. And I just saw Baba Ogun on the bottom of the deck. So Baba Ogun speaks to victories. Remember, we saw victory uh, with the energy oracle. So we have emotional roller coaster ride, time to get off. So that's what you did. That's why this time out is here. You know, you wasn't going to let somebody sit there and continue to emotionally manipulate you. So that's what you was dealing with, a, a, a manipulator, someone who was playing a lot of games. And that's why you eventually said, you know, I have to keep it pushing. But there's some communication. 
you know there's some communication that could be you even you know moving in a different direction moving on and we have I always feel like somebody's watching me so your person is really feeling like really paranoid maybe this is you know the person that you're attracting this is what they are doing is watching you keeping eyes and tabs on you so if you feel like you know uh, you know some of the comments that may be coming in from some some really suspicious uh, accounts that could be you know this the uh, this mother to your children or child or that person you was dealing with in the past that could be spying on you you know with I always feel like somebody's watching me maybe this person is feeling a little paranoid but it says if you have to fake the connection there isn't one it's a two-way street so that's what you was dealing with this person realizes that you know you were um, protecting yourself because maybe they weren't giving enough. That's what I was saying. You know, with the Eight of Cups, you leave because you feel emotionally bankrupt. You're pouring and pouring into someone and you're getting nothing. You're giving all, everything. You know what I'm saying? And so we have um, Duran Duran save a prayer. So this person is definitely like realizing like they didn't do enough, you know, and, and you couldn't fake it anymore, which is why you left. But this is definitely them also realizing, you know, whatever relationship they're in, there is no chemistry. It is no tight. It's not it's not destined the way they feel this one is. They feel this love is a destiny type of love. They feel that you are matching their fly, matching their vibration. And they absolutely want to have this opportunity to communicate with you, to tell you how they feel. But they just don't know if you're going to be receptive because they know that they've messed up in the past. And so they're saying a prayer, you know, they're, they're saving a prayer for this connection because we got Duran Duran. So they're really praying and, and, and asking their angels and ancestors for a way. And we got redemption, the sweetest joy. So it's like you have had some sort of come up, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, like I said, y'all had some sort of blessing because we saw carnocopia in the beginning. Um, so this card is really saying that you are financially stable, uh, financially free, really, uh, very successful uh, in your career, very successful things are happening in your lives. Um, and I do feel like you have really uh, bossed up. I'm hearing bossed up a lot. You know, you manifested a lot of the things that are happening to you. Why is this 61 self-love, 43 man holding a coin? All the rest of these cards here for my Divine Masculine for what's hidden in the energy. May I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, Spirit. It says, it says, go deeper. You haven't scratched the surface. So, yeah. So, there's some underlining um, circumstances. When this person returns, you're going to have to get them to, like, go deeper. Because they may try to just come in and just, you know, scratch the surface and say, oh, yeah, this happened, that happened. You know, if you could look, this person looks very bored, you know, as I said, very dissatisfied, very unfulfilled in whatever it is they're dealing with. So if they return acting like they've had some grand epiphany, it could just really be like the relationship they was in fizzled and died. And there was a lot of things that occurred that they didn't check for uh, because, you know, there was a lot of red flags that they didn't pay attention to. And that's how they got caught up. But spirit is telling you go deeper. So maybe spirit is telling you to go within yourself to see how you feel. And it says do something for yourself. Watch a sunset. Take a drive. Purchase some new lingerie. Um, I, and I did mention that earlier. And it says silk, uh, silk chakra. So maybe some of you all are going to be doing that. Um, piece of jewelry. Love on you. So that's what you're doing. I feel like you all are. Um, perhaps you're not going to be open to this connection um, because you're you're loving yourselves you're selfish and loving you you know um, and with save a prayer I feel like this person really they can't blame you you know with this uh, two of Pentacles that's that person that was juggling you know and the person that they juggled and, and gambled with it ended up being somebody that was a psycho you know this is somebody that was a liar, you know, this is a master manipulator, a deceiver. This is someone who's abusive mentally, emotionally, just a freaking narcissist. So why is 26 love partnerships all tied up? Two of Cups, Tower, and the Two of Pentacles here for the outcome for my Divine Masculine line. They have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, Spirit. What did I just say? 
selfish, loving me, myself, and I, and enjoying getting to know me better. And then we have he, she is the one that got away, can't shake this feeling. What did I just say, man? I can't make this ish up. This person, this is what you did. You walked away. You said, I'm not doing this ish. And remember when I was saying the eight, this 26 is eight, and this 91 is one. That's 10. That's one. So this eight and this one is nine. Nine is not, is, was giving me like the nine of cups earlier. That's why I said this person sees you as a wish fulfillment, but they also see you as being selfish and loving yourself. You know, when you walk away, that's showing self-respect, showing self-love, self-care, self-discipline. But then you get to that nine of cups, you feel selfish now because you're taking care of you. You're putting you first. You're prioritizing yourself. You're not falling for the okie doke no more. You don't feel like you got to, you know what I'm saying, appease and please other people because you realize you're your priority. And so that's what this person feels. And that's why they're all tied up in their head because now they realize you're the one that got away. It says he, she is the one that got away, can't shake this feeling. They can't shake this feeling. They can't, she can't even shake herself out of this tie because this is her own doing. That's why this is com mental conflict. And with save a prayer, they're praying over this situation. So it's like they cut their nose off in spite of their own face because they ended up with somebody that was them. They they really ended up with, uh, um, you know, a mirrored version of themselves. So you attract what you are. This is what they really feel. You're the one that got away. They love you deeply. And now they have to deal with the consequences of their actions. This is Karma Dharma. That's why that song by Dave East was playing. And it said enough. You had enough of the nonsense. You wasn't going to sit here playing these little childish schoolgirl games you know what i'm saying and with selfish loving me myself and i that's exactly what you're doing and look what we got here love is a battlefield and it says is it worth the fight questions seek answers so that's what you are going to do when this person comes around because this person already feels that you're very guarded you know and they do desire you to surrender we have gregory uh, gregory isaacs and this is called let me be the um let me be the special guest. So they want to be your special guest. Remember I was saying somebody may visit you. Because we do have the world card here twice. For the person that you're attracting. Um, as well as what came out to clarify um, for the outcome. So they may visit you. You know, they may want to visit you. They may offer you something. Spirit is saying that love is in fact the battlefield. You know, y'all have had a lot of conflicts, a lot of disagreements. This person obviously misses you thinking that, you know, of the times that were really good and, you know, regretting every moment of their actions. But this is also them, you know, healing and growing and learning, you know, taking onus and accountability even. So why is 91 surrender? Um, daughter, personal healing and happiness. The Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the World Card. We have a message of love and light. Some of you all may have been born in 1977, or maybe you're dealing with someone who was born in 1977. We have a message of love and light. So now they're hush. They could be really up in their head trying to figure out and strategize and plan and prepare. Have a message of love and light spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got relax, refresh, recharge. Re, re. So be on your re, re. Take time. That's why spirit was like, look, don't rush nothing. Take your time to get things straight. Don't just rush in because somebody comes back. It says trust issues. I've been hurt and I'm afraid to be hurt again. So that's why you are refusing to just surrender to somebody who's returning. To somebody who's just telling you how much they miss you. And then we have patience is also a form of action. Stay diligent. And then we also have reinvent yourself, new wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage, mani-pedi. Um, you know, this is about taking care of you. So self-love. So again, spirit is reminding you. Self-love. That's why they was telling you go deeper. 
You know what I'm saying? It says go deeper. You haven't scratched the surface. So perhaps, you know, through having conversations, it will reveal more things to you to let you know whether or not you and this person are in fact on the same page. In their eyes, you're the one that got away. You're there to inflame and they want to come back for you. They realize that they have made some sort of major mistake and they regret it. They live with regrets. They feel foolish. I feel like they got duped, they got played for Boo Boo the Fool, and they lost the real one in the process of playing games. But I feel strongly that spirit just wants you to trust your intuition. Let me get, I want to keep on going. Hold on one minute. Might as well, right? Let me get a couple more messages, see what spirit says. So let's tap and tune in. Bottom of the deck, we got courthouse, so there goes that adjudication. There goes that judgment. So spirit is already working this situation out. Whatever is meant to be will be. This is about karma dharma. This is about lessons. Someone could absolutely be going through a divorce or some sort of legal proceedings. Maybe this is again, like I said, you know, things working out in your favor. And we got the main male. So this person wants, and we got 23 for five. So this is that person that is really like stuck in their head. They're going through karma. See that? They're going through, they're going through this karma. For the things that they've done. We got Wu-Tang Clan featuring Red Man Inspector Deck. And this is called Lesson Learned. I can't make this up. See? Lesson Learned. So they're going through karma, beloveds. This is their karma. This is this. And that's why Spirit is like, look, you make the decision. With that one, you make the decision on which direction you wish to go. Do you wish to, you know, start over with this person? Do you wish to have a new beginning? But it's like the decision, the choice is yours. But lesson learned, I feel like spirit is telling you that, you know, this person has learned a very valuable lesson by whatever it is they did to you. It's like it was done to them and they did not like that ish. It's like what well, goes around, come back around again. Yep, that's what they went through. They went through something karmic. You know, and now they have to reap what they sow. They coming back with this song and dance. They thinking that them old tricks, you know, maybe they going to go buy some lingerie, lingeries, <laughs> some teddies just to entice you, seduce you. Trying to do that old, you know, succubus, incubus trick. And you got to be wiser than that. You got to be quicker than that. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't let anybody be your kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? You be your kryptonite. Do what's right because that's what's best for you. Not because somebody done, you know, tricked your ass into the bed and now you done fell back into the same traps that you just worked so hard to get out of. You know what I'm saying? That message is for men too. Men don't realize y'all get tricked a lot by these feminines out here. These women be using y'all and y'all don't even know. Y'all think y'all knocking them down, but they be really out here using what they got to get what they want from you. And that's why spirit has been reminding you. Do what's best for you. Enjoy yourself. Be selfish. Because I feel like you was very selfless in the past. And that ish was not appreciated. So we got on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Privileged lady. 12. This is a divine feminine. You all got a divine feminine on your hands. This is somebody that really loves you. This person matches your fly, your vibration. This is someone that is going to compliment you and you're going to compliment them. So you will know, I feel like you will know, you know, when, um, when the right time is, you know, you'll know, not the right time. What am I talking about? You'll know who this right person is because they will just, this, this energy, it's like, that's undeniable. This is an energy that you're drawn to. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, she don't have to work hard. She don't have to convince you. She doesn't have to do any of that stuff. She doesn't have to seduce you and, you know, batter eyes and, and, and talk nasty. Like, this divine feminine is just attractive. You will be just pulled into her energy because of the way she carries herself. Her respect, the poise. You know what I'm saying? She's alluring. She's wise, informed. She just has this power, this power that's just, it's, it's intoxicating. And I feel like someone else that you were dealing with could have had you on constant emotional roller coaster rides. And that's why spirit was like, look, it's time to get off. It's time to get off and go find what you're deserving of. Maybe you were going through that with 
you know, a wife with someone that was the mother to your child. Because that's what that divine feminine could represent as well. You know, this this constant up and down, roller coaster ride, could never be on the same page. But this Empress energy even could be a mother. You know, it could be a very challenging relationship you have with your own mothers. And that's why you took that time away to assess yourself. But I also feel with three, three is a very action number. This is a blessing. I feel like this is what's coming in. The overall energy is you have a divine feminine that's coming in. Person you're attracting, how the, I mean the person, yeah, the person you're attracting and how they, um, and where they at. This is definitely somebody who's in two minds, confused. They definitely spying on you. And we have Alicia Keys, you don't know my name, playing. So they feel like you don't even know they exist, they, like they're alive, like there's no communication, you know. I'm feeling like y'all lived together and it was just like, y'all was like strangers almost. That's what Spirit is saying, is like, if you did live with this person, it was like you two were almost acting like strangers because it was like, or maybe even roommates because you didn't share the same bed, you know, there was not much conversations, not much interaction. So why is 63... Parenting, 38, Archangel Raphael, the world, three of swords. And I always feel like somebody's watch, watching me here for the person our Divine Masculine is attracting. And we have mature woman. They've been maturing. So this person has been growing up. They're, they're in harmony now. They've found balance. Spirit has been working with them because I see community. So I feel like they've been having some sort of assistance. And that that is obvious because Archangel Raphael is here. So this is, you know, they were receiving a lot of assistance from the spirit world, but they're maturing. So this is a good sign. And I just saw 15044. So that's six again. What am I talking about? That's six again. 15044. So six and four. Of course, that's one. That's four. That's five. So they want to communicate with you. They want to communicate with you. They want to get some things off their chest, you know. I love this video. This is, uh, you don't know my name by Alicia Keys. And Most Def is in it. I love Most Def. That's my guy. And he opened up the reading. So with this mature woman, I absolutely feel like this is someone who's been growing. And I feel like they've been watching you. You know, that's why they know they knew they had to get their ish together because you were growing. You wasn't playing about your, you know, about your spiritual uh, quests. And they're being guided to you. You know, this is that divine feminine because that's that 39 that reduces to 12 again. And remember the, you know, privileged lady. So... We got that nine yet, I mean that three yet again. So this empress is really smitten, you know, really smitten over you. So let's see, why is 81 leadership, 33 romance, the uh, king of swords, the uh, seven of wands, and the wheel along with if you have to fake the connection, there isn't one, but how this person feels about our beautiful divine masculine. I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And it says, wealthy man. See that? So they know that you are abundant. They also see you as a divine masculine, a provider, a protector, someone who is, you know, an alpha male. You make things happen. You go out and get it. You're resourceful. You're practical. You know what I'm saying? They see you as someone very stable. They see you as someone they can build, you know, a nucleus with. That's why they see you in that boss energy. You know, but this is also someone that feels you have like transformed into this. That 13 is related to, you know, the death card in traditional tarot. So they feel you've transformed into someone who's very, you know, confident, very um, successful. And that's why they feel like they got to match your fly, your vibration. On the vibe, look at that bottom of the deck, bad health. See that? 31. They're up in their head. They're heartbroken. They are truly heartbroken. This is like heartbreak, suffering, you know, from mental anguish in addition to, you know, just, just missing you. 
And this is really like that energy of someone who's, you know, because that's why this energy is here as well. I was picking up like this somebody who's just dissatisfied, you know, just feeling unfulfilled, discontent. And they could be working really hard to manifest you back because they see you as home. They see you as somebody they can, you know, build a nucleus with, build a family with. But Spirit is telling you don't jump into action. Like sit with this for a minute. Because somebody is really heartbroken. This is what's hidden in the energy. So why is um 61, self-love, 43, man holding a coin, the magician, queen of wands, king of wands, the magician, and the temperance here, along with go deeper. You haven't scratched the surface for what's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines. I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And we have expectation. See that? That's very interesting. So I feel like you had some expectations in the past. But this person also has some very serious expectations of repairing, reconciling, and healing this connection. They are watching you from a distance. Look how this feminine is just gazing at this masculine energy. She's expecting, you know, she's expecting you to return. But I see the death here. See that? Maybe they had some expectations of someone that they took some sort of chance, took some sort of leap of faith, and it ended in the death. It ended in an ending, the 19. That's an end, a painful ending at that. And there's another card here. See that? They're in despair. This is what's hidden in the energy. They expected something from someone that they, you know, they didn't do their homework. This person had nothing to offer. This person could have been like struggling financially, but they're in despair because their expectations weren't met. And we have Dave East, Dear Summer. So Summer's gone, so I feel like that relationship is long gone. It's over. I feel like for this person, it's like it's a it's a very painful loss, painful realization because it's like they took a leap of faith and it didn't it landed them nowhere. It's like they're starting all over. And that's why I feel like spirit is telling you to go deeper. Maybe this is spirit telling that person in the future, go deeper than just the surface. Because as I said, I was picking up on somebody who was just very superficial, very materialistic, just focused on the external, the exterior, but not really, you know, piercing, you know, or penetrating, you know, any anything beyond the physical. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to you got to like if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you should know more than just, you know, what what is presented so let's see hold on I'll fix my cards I keep messing them up so the 10 that's a death so definitely the end you walked away we're about to clarify the 26 love partnership all tied up uh, the tower the six of I'm sorry the two of cups the two of pentacles and selfish loving me myself and I and he she is the one that got away Along with all tied up, if I didn't say that, for what's the outcome. So this card is basically showing up. And we have courtship. So this is them trying to come back and woo you. You know? And, and with that Cupid there, and it's like the Cupid's arrow is pointed directly at the masculine. I feel like spirit is, you know, kind of... I mean, at the feminine. I feel like it's saying that the feminine... Because if you look closely, like his arrow is down. And it's like right over the feminine's head. That's what I'm trying to point across. So I feel like this feminine is going to try to come in. And maybe this time around they're going to show you how they feel. You know what I'm saying? To try to resuscitate or recuperate um, this, this relationship, this connection, this union. So they may do, you know, they may reach out. That could be why they're up in their head because they're trying to figure out how to, you know, how to go about this. What to say to you. They don't even know if you would be receptive to be honest with you. Because they know in the past they've deceived you, they've played you, and hurt you. More importantly, they've broken your heart. But this person really wants to rebuild. You know, they, they really want, you know, and I feel like they're going to court you. So, you know, a lot of people have it, you know, you know, have a, a misconception of what courting is. Courting can be done by feminine and masculine. Like, a feminine can court a man too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying chase his ass, but like you could show interest, you know. That's what courting is. Just... If you're thinking about someone, let them know. 
If you know they are interested in certain things, you could gift a guy some flowers. What's wrong with that? You know, so I feel like this feminine is going to be the one to to take action, to court you, to, you know, even if it's not like consistent, just the initial step will be to show you that, hey, I'm interested. So she may reach out and call you. She may uh, send you a message. She may send you a bouquet of flowers thinking of you like it's, it's something thoughtful. She's thinking about how to do this. And we have Madonna justify my love. So she's looking to justify her love, to justify this love. Because they've learned to love right, you know, to love right is to love yourself right first. So with this concern, you know, maybe that's why you're not surrendering because you may have some concerns about, you know, taking, um, taking um, any initial steps. You have trust issues with this person because they've already broken the trust. But I feel like they want to justify their love for you by returning. And with this 33, the concern, you know, they can, they're fearful. That's that 33 there, the romance. It's like you're, you're afraid because you, you, you want the romance, but you don't want to, you really don't want to go backwards. You're not trying to repeat, you know, history. You're not trying to repeat cycles. So let's see, why is this 91 Surrender, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness, Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, Trust Issues, Reinvent Yourself here for the Outcome for Our Divine Masculines. We have community here again. So it's obviously saying, see, and oh, wow, concern flew right back out. So you have a lot of concern. You're like, and Spirit is telling you, if you have those concerns, trust your intuition. Use your discernment because that 33 deals with the six. The six, I mean, the 33 reduces to the six. The six is the first eye. So Spirit is telling you, use your intuition and use your discernment. Community, your angels, your ancestors, they're supporting you on your decision. They support you. You're, they support you. And I see mature men under community along with judication and thief and coffin. Wow. So let me get one more message. Can I get one more message? I have a message of love and light. Why is this concern here for the outcome for my divine masculine? Because I feel like it is concerning. That's why I was telling you, like, if it doesn't sit right in your spirit. Because, you know, it seems like a lot was done. And sometimes it's hard to get past deception. You know, somebody goes above and beyond to be deceitful, lying about things. And you was giving them the benefit of the dust. I mean, the benefit of the tr the, the um, doubt and trusting them. You know, and so see that? Look at that anchor. I m mentioned like an emotional anchor. Like somebody was in, like emotional, emotionally like anchoring you. This is like an anchor holding you back, keeping you stuck and stagnant. That's why this is what you're fearing. You know, you don't want to return back to something that's going to make you feel like you were stuck. You see that anchor? It's right there, rather. And you finally released yourself from something that you felt was daunting and holding you back. Look at this sudden wealth. Maybe somebody's trying to hold on to you because you're seeing, they see you as wealthy. You know, they see you as someone very, you know, very much a go-getter. And this is just really saying again, like you, you're deserving. You got the sudden wealth. So some of you all are receiving blessings and opportunities. It's like you're receiving rewards, recognition. Your wishes are becoming, you know, fulfilled and true and answered. This is a powerful energy. Beautiful, beautiful Divine Masculines. I hope this message resonated with you. As I've been saying in my readings, please rotate the love. Show the love. Uh, YouTube is not posting my videos like they used to because the algorithms have changed. There's a lot of videos talking about that. So if you will, please be kind and like the video so that this video can be discovered by other people who may need the message. You know what I'm talking about? So just hit the like button. That's a way to rotate and reciprocate the love. As you see, I put a lot of time and energy into these readings for you to provide you clear and concise messages. So all I ask for is a like. Definitely subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I have an upload. And for you beautiful Divine Masculines, um, my what I want you to walk away doing is to to 
ask yourselves what you want. Don't feel compelled or obligated. Don't fall into the trap of trying to appease anyone. Definitely put you first. If you don't feel that you want to return to someone who comes back to you based off of um, you know, some things that may have occurred in the past, if you can't get past the past, that's a sign that you can't get back with someone from your past. Uh, because all that will do is create more drama, conflict. You will never trust that person again because you are currently dealing with trust issues. Um, but I feel like spirit is also saying like, you know, patience is a form of action. So perhaps spirit is telling you be patient with this person um, and to also show forgiveness, uh, be compassionate, but trust your intuition. So you may need to sit with this for a while. Uh, if someone does return and wants to open up the lines of communication, that's a beautiful way to, you know, to get reacquainted, but more importantly, to be able to discern whether or not they have actually changed or if they're just trying to tell you what they think you want to hear. So you have to use your own intuition and be discerning. Um, and, and, and I feel this is really saying like some of you all are hopeless, hopeless romantics. Um, you're, you're very devoted when you are in a relationship, you're in a relationship, you're there for the long haul. Um, and some of you all got got, you got duped, you got played. Uh, and so that may have really hurt you and bruised your ego, but it's like in the process, you still healed and did a lot of, you know, work on the self. And that is the reason why I feel like spirit is rewarding and blessing you. And this is a message that has been coming out a lot um, for the divine masculines and divine feminines. Um, I absolutely feel like you all are just soaring. You got a lot going on for yourselves. Positive things are taking place in your lives. And I just feel like, you know, whoever this person is, they see it. They can see it as clear as day. Uh, but I feel like this, this decision is going to be one that you have to make. Um, very consciously, like you have to really make a conscious effort to make the right decision. Don't just jump. I wouldn't even talk to my friends and family and homeboys. I would literally sit with this one on my own um, and go within uh, because you do have angels and guides that are kind of like, you know, helping you behind the scenes. You have a lot of ancestors and, and, and spirit team that are perhaps conspiring behind the scene to bring things back to this place where you can find that healthy medium with someone that you possibly could have already parented or co-parented, um, I should say, a child with this person. So if that is the case, maybe this is, you know, your, your angels and guides trying to realign you with this person because we do see they've been maturing. Um, they weren't always like this, but I feel like that heartbreak woke their asses up. But um, whatever the case may be, uh, take your time to get this one right, beloved. Don't rush the process. And it's okay to take care of you. It's okay to prioritize you. It's okay to be selfish, especially when it comes to loving yourselves. Because self-love is the best love. And that's the reason why what was hidden was self-love. So definitely show that for yourselves. Don't, don't put anyone before you. All right? Uh, we have the gap ban, and this is called yearning for your love. So this person's absolutely yearning. And we do see that they're in despair. Um... Maybe you're yearning for them. Whatever the case may be, sit with it for a while. See what sits right in your spirit. Um, and do that. <laughs> do that. All right? But I love you guys. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Um, if you are new, I hope you stay a while. I hope the message has resonated. Again, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. And definitely su subscribe if you haven't already. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Mwah. Love you guys. Have a blessed Saturn's day. Ashe. Ah,